All right, now it's time to learn about advanced grind maneuvers. Believe it or not, when you're coming up to a rail or a ledge, you can adjust your board in the air. This will get you in position for all sorts of different grinds, man. Now, let's see what you can do, chump. Go grind a rail. Okay, shift your board forward. Do what I just told you to do on another rail. Get it? All right, let's see you get some on another rail. Get it? Okay, now go skate another rail. Okay, now turn your board to the other side. Man, I can't believe you finished. Good job, fella. I'm gonna teach you how to grab your board, tweak out your grabs, and style out your air maneuvers. We're gonna hit this here blaster, man. You better be prepared, cause it's a big one. All right, now, place the session marker. All right, hit that blaster. You're stuck in the air, man. I told you Coach Frank was the best. Now grab that board. Now tweak it. Hiya! You better let go of the board before you land, otherwise you might break your fingers. Now grab the board with your other hand. Now you're getting it. All right. Hot dog, that was good. All right, hit that blaster. Now, let me see you use your right stick to tweak the board first, and then grab it. Then you'll get a whole new set of airs, buddy. Get it. To keep it classy like Coach Frank, you better let go of your board before you land. Now, for a variety of tweaked airs, just follow the instructions in your HUD. Judo air. Christ air, man. Unless you want to swallow your knees and possibly squash your grapefruit, you better let go of your board before you land. You know what? You can also flip the board in the air. You can flip the board with your fingers like a finger flip. Man, you've impressed even Coach Frank. This is important, kids. Pumping is something you need to learn to keep your speed up when you're going up and down transitionals. I want you to crouch in the blue area before you go up the transitional and then stand up in the yellow area. That'll keep your speed up. Crouch in the blue area, and then stand up in the yellow area. Stand up! Crouch, kid! Now go ahead and try a couple on your own. I told you, it's easy, man. Now do another one. Good, now I want you to pump all the parameter objects. Goo! All those yellow areas are pumpable. Don't you forget it. <laughs> well, good work, buddy. Check this out. Manuels is a trick you do by balancing on two wheels while you're rolling. A nose manuel is when you're doing the same balancing but on the front two wheels. Pretty cool, huh? Let's get started. Get it! This little manuel meter I put together will measure you when you're in the zone. <laughs> Now I want you to get into a manuel and do a flip trick out. That'll teach you. I 
I'm gonna introduce you to something very special. It's a new Coach Frank maneuver. It's called a dark slide. A dark slide is what happens when you catch the board upside down and slide on a rail or a ledge or something. Let's do it! I know it probably sounds complicated, but it's a lot easier than you think. I gotta go ahead and take a dump right now, so go ahead and practice your dark slides. Check out the trick hut for any further tips. I'll see you momentarily. <laughs> flick it, man! Flick it! Well, looks like now you know about dark slides. Those things are pretty cool, huh? Under flips. You start to flip the board one way, then you kick it back around the other way. Let's get into it. Let's do this. All right, now do it a couple more times for good measure. Yeah, I said good measure. And I can't believe you finished. Good job, fella. It's always good to start with the basics. Let's build a fun box. Whoa, it looks like Retta left us some ramps. Let's see what we could get up to with those. Okay, now rotate and move that second ramp into place. Now place that rail in the center of the fun box and hit it. Yep, that's looking fresh. Let's see you skate it. See what I'm saying, dude? There's so much you can do with the park editor. Feel like skating a little vert? Let me show you how to build the half pipe. All right, let's rotate and move that half pipe into position. Dude, rotation is your friend. And don't forget that you can reset the object position if you... That's it, now hit it. Hey, nice work. Hubba's benches, planters, rails. This place comes complete. Dude, if I were you, I'd keep building here. But we could always go hit the streets. It's your call. Pull up the object catalog and select the ramp. If you're having trouble, just follow the instructions on your HUD. All right, that's all there is to it. Now get your shred on. See, dude, that was sick. Dude, you can do all of this with just the park editor. Oh, this thing will be so perfect when it's finished. I say we get the job done. Try selecting multiple objects with group select. Now you can copy and paste the entire group to save time. Sweetness. You can even adjust the color and texture of your half pipe. Check it out. That's it, now just hit it. Hey, that was nice work. You could upload your parks or download your friends' parks. And if people are downloading your park, that's just more board sales.
You'll need to raise this up to get it into position. Try it out. All right, let's add a rail to this beast. See, I told you it was easy. Yeah, man, that line was perfect.